Hey guys, Michael Colts here. Got something new for you guys. Uh, got an interview from Kevin Clements. You guys will be able to get to know me on a bigger level and see how I have grown to be who I am today. The struggles and the things I've gone through life, the life lessons, the learnings, everything. Uh, and please go check out his channel, Kevin Clements. Uh, he's, he actually has a few different channels. But please go and check him out. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, great guy. Uh, for now, guys, God bless. I will talk to you soon, and there will be much more to come. For now, I'm tapping out. Colts here. He is a professional, natural, Men's physique artist. There you go. Tell us about your uh, your professional status there, Michael Colts. Um, well, this guy that's ripped right here, this is my uh, second I ever got. I got first place in both shows, and this is the one that brought home uh, the pro card. And you can take a look, and I can... Uh, there we go. That's good. Right there. All right. Yeah, that was that was an experience. I was crying. Oh, that's that great. Stuff. That's super. Stuff. Um, and you're with the IFPA, correct? That your federation is the IFPA. The International Federation of Physique Athletes. Correct, and it's a and it's a very strict drug tested natural uh, federation, correct? On natural. Uh, that's the way to go, buddy. Yes, sir. Um, uh, I'm going to have four questions here that I'm going to ask you. I first would want I first want you to let us know how can people find you on the interwebs. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, and my name. What? Yeah, go ahead. I would say you can, uh, uh, my last name's K-O-H-L-T-S. A lot of people spell it with a C or a Z at the end. So, <laughs> that's, you got to get it right. It's been wrong all through high school. <laughs> <laughs> and they can find you on, they can find you on YouTube at Michael Colts Fitness? Yep, absolutely. I believe that's all one word. And on your Instagram? Instagram, just Michael Colts. At Michael Colts. Um, all, all of my, uh, besides YouTube, uh, I actually got a video that just, a recent video that just went up uh, about all this. And, uh, well, all my social media is basically private, so I got to approve everything. So if you're trying to reach me, uh, I, I will get back to you. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, well, you recently had a very unfortunate situation with a lady friend, and so you I, I were kind of blacked out for a little while on social media, right? Yeah, I was, I was, I was taken away from family, friends, and all social media. It was just a, a no bueno. No, <laughs> I no said bueno. That right. Yeah, yeah, no, that's no good. No bueno means no good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. So you ready to dive into these questions here? Absolutely. Let's do it, sir. All right. Here we go. The first question. How did you get into working out? At what age? And were you an athletic kid, a skinny kid, a chubby kid, or the loser in the back that was a stoner? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Um, I wasn't... I, I always went to... Uh, we'll say, I never had sports when I was... We didn't have any sports teams. I always went to the small schools, and the closest I got to physical activity was PE. Wow. And uh, I'm no professional dodgeball player, but I was pretty good. <laughs> um, so uh, I wasn't wasn't a good student. I, you know, I was always the one that made fun of myself to, you know fit in and make people laugh, so you could say I was kind of like a... a you were the class, you were one of the class clowns. 
Yeah, you could say that. And, you know, I, I dab into substances. I, I smoked a little grass when I was younger, and I was a, a heavy boozer up into my early 20s and got into a little trouble, and things got straight. You straightened yourself out, and was fit, your fitness was part of it, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, how that started was, you know, I was working out with my cousin for a little while, you know, he was my partner, or I was his partner, and I was dating someone, and I had a massive breakup. I, I was left, and, and I was devastated. I always wanted to be the guy that was in shape or that had abs. I just wanted to have abs. That was curious. Abs. So, <laughs> I, so I, I was working out at a gym where a coach was working out of, and... I saw Einstein on the dotted line after a while, and initially it was going to be bodybuilding, but I'm not big enough, so we went into physique. It was actually the first year uh, the ISBA was introducing, introducing men's physique, and I was lucky enough to have what they were looking for, and I got my pro card. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, go on to uh, question number two. How has your training helped your confidence in other areas of your life? Um, pretty much every way it's improved. Uh, you know, I take everything more serious. I take friendship, friendship seriously. I take dating seriously. Uh, I'm not so dating anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> I take that stuff seriously. Um, and when it comes to work, I mean, I'm a construction worker. I've been a construction worker for six years now. And that's my line of work. That's my career. And it improves every aspect of that. Uh, you know, I can I last longer. I Just everything. It makes it smoother. You're, you're a much more valuable asset because of your strength that you've built up to your, to your work. And so it, it helps you in your career as well which is a good point to tell young people that it's not just for show. It, it, there's a functional use for you yeah. career-wise. It helps you make money. <laughs> your guns, oh. show them your guns. Your guns are money makers. There you go. Yeah, oh, but you know, seriously, it's the truth. It's the truth. Seriously, it really is the truth. It helps you in your job. It helps you to do your job better. And your bosses notice that, they know that. They know you last longer, like you said. Yep. That's all good. That's all positive things that your bodybuilding has done to the rest of your life, not just in the bodybuilding. All right, that's good. All right, number three is what has been the main training philosophy, philosophy and diet philosophy that you have followed, and has it changed since you started lifting? Um, well, I've had two coaches in the past six years, I think. Yeah, about six years now. And, you know, my first coach, we used the, uh, I forget the name of it, but meal plan, basically. We used that and, you know, worked it. But uh, my first off-season, we did get to fit your macros. And that was one of the difficult things I have ever tried in my entire life. But as the saying goes, in order to learn it, you got to do it. So it took time. I got used to it, and we went to a meal plan again when I got into prep. And it just seemed like I was, you know, a bikini girl because I was just eating under my calorie intake, and I was just dead at the end of every day. But I went 100% throughout the whole day. Um, and I went on with Ultram. Yeah, go a little closer. Go a little closer. I want everybody to see that. Ulstrom Fitness Consulting. Absolutely. There you go. Uh, I, I'm, I'm coached under Brian Ulstrom, and his motto is, if it fits your macros all the time. He likes to teach people that so they can go out in the world and be able to balance their life and be healthy. Uh, and I, I absolutely believe in that because uh, there's there's certain 
certain aspects of, you know, if it fits your macros and a meal plan, you don't know what your macro intake is besides, you know, a half a cup of this. And Mike, Mike, lean a little bit because I want to put some pictures up of you peeled. While, while, while you're talking about this, I want to put up some pictures of you peeled at your show. <laughs> I want to make sure that you're not leaning into the pictures. I got you. Okay. But, uh, I mean, you don't, you don't know what kind of macros you're getting besides, you know, a half a cup of this or six ounces of this. You're not tracking it. Mm -hmm. You're just eating it because that's what you're told to do. You get, you get no learning process from that. And it can set you up for failure in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I know that there's been talk in the past uh, uh, certainly by Dr. Lane Norton has brought up the possibility of there being really bad coaching out there and coaches that are putting people on meal plans and not putting them on sufficient enough macros and it's actually been messing them up somewhat internally. Uh, yeah, do you have any uh, thoughts about that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know two instances in the last, uh, I think it was two years ago, I believe, uh, that what coaches I know had put two people into the hospital for uh, uh, that their kidneys were shutting down. They weren't getting what they needed, and they were hospitalized. And this was right before the holidays. Oh, it, oh you got to be careful on who, who you're working with and how they operate, because most of the time they're probably just going for money. They're yeah. not caring about their clients. I'm glad you brought up that point because that that is the truth. That is what a lot of them have done. That that yeah. was a good an that was a great answer, Mikey. Okay, the last one here is number four. We're going to ask what are the best tips that you could give to young people starting out in the gym. Probably it'll go back to that diet, the, co the coaching. You could that's one thing you need to do research on. I think you'll explain that. And what are the biggest mistakes that you personally made that you wished you hadn't? Hmm. Um, well, like you you get you got to do the research on your coaches because a lot of people will basically compete and they'll actually do really good and win and think that they can go out and just prep anybody they want. And you can't, you can't do that because everybody's body runs differently. You can't just, going back to the meal plan, you just can't give somebody a meal plan and think it's going to work. I mean, it may to a point, but in the long run, it's going to drive you into the ground. Uh, and for beginners, do your research. And, you know, be careful with the weight. I mean, that's priority. That's, that's a good that's, point, too. Uh the ego lifting. Ego lifting. Don't don't ego lift because I've been there and I hit a wall at one point and I was squatting close to 300 pounds. My form was crappy. My my legs were fully extended and my back was coming up like I was doing in a back extension. And Ooh. I completely started over. I had no problem with it. I I dropped it down to 135 and started all over again. That. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, mind-body connection, mm. range of motion, the squeeze. It, you got you to gotta do everything at a slow pace and work yourself up. It takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. No, it doesn't. No. It's a process. I know that sounds rote, and people say yeah. that all the time, but it is the truth. It's a process, and you need to do it the right way and the best way and the smart way. To, to, yeah. to get to your goals and to get what you're doing. Absolutely. Okay, Mike, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, you know, I don't think I have anything else. Uh, yeah, I think that's all that, I got. That, that's basically all you got today? Yeah. All right. right. Oh, ladies, ladies, he is <laughs> single. He is single, ladies. So, uh... <laughs> Well, I've got to advertise. Oh, you, I know that you're a very faithful man too. You have a, you have a strong belief system. I do absolutely. Uh, there there was a while there I was doing a weekly Bible uh, Sunday 
and that kind of diminished. I fell off and wasn't doing YouTube for a while, but I'm thinking about bringing it back. Um, yes. I know there's a lot of people that I've reached around the world, and it's crazy on who you can reach <laughs> in this world. It's, it's amazing. It's and amazing, the yes. The stories it's... that you hear. Um, so it would yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I know you have you have a very strong belief in our Lord Jesus Christ and Absolutely. and what He's done in your life and what He can do in everybody's life. So, that's that's great. All right, Mike. They can catch you at Michael Colts Fitness. They can catch you on Instagram at at Michael Colts. Yep. And you don't do Twitter. I don't do Twitter, but you can find me on Facebook. That's and on Facebook at Michael Colts, and that's K-O-H-L-T-S. All right, Mike, say your goodbyes, buddy. All right, thank you, guys. That was fun. Uh, God bless, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. All right, dude. Take it easy, teasy, and peasy, brother. I'll talk to you in a little while. Sounds good.